from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Showers out and about all morning. Your full weather forecast with Greg D is coming up. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. Lawmakers considering allowing police to use drones in more situations. Right now, law enforcement cannot use them to gather evidence, but a bill in the Senate could allow them to use drones above large crowds for traffic management. They wouldn't be able to issue tickets, but it would allow them to use drones at crash scenes and crime scenes too. They would also be allowed to use drones after national disasters to battle wildfires. Right now, Florida Fish and Wildlife, they are working with Bay Area law enforcement to find a missing boater. They tell us the Coast Guard alerted them about a boater who didn't return when they were scheduled to. They're now searching the Nix Park area in Port Ritchie. We'll keep you updated when we get any more updates on that. Leaders at USF St. Peter getting an extra $10 million in grant money to help Florida teachers better spot mental health struggles. They'll travel all across the state training teachers, school counselors, principals, parents, even bus drivers on how to recognize the first signs of mental distress in K through 12th graders. The grant money is coming from the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School Safety Bill aimed at making Florida schools safer. One group is now pushing to make friendly, make flying more friendly for families. Consumer Reports is now petitioning transportation officials to allow families to sit together without paying an extra fee. So far, they've got more than 75,000 signatures. Many airlines no longer let you choose your seat when you buy an economy ticket. Parents say being separate from small children can be dangerous during an emergency. Officials say most airlines will work with caregivers so young kids are not separated from them. It is Ash Wednesday, the start of the Lenten season, and several Italian dioceses have canceled services over the spread of the coronavirus. But the Vatican says Pope Francis will hold the traditional mass for Ash Wednesday. And some restaurants are offering fish deals to coincide with Lent. Arby's is offering two for six dollar fish sandwiches. Chick-fil-A is serving fish from today until April 11th at some locations. And these include two in Tampa, one in Seminole, one in Sarasota. And also Wendy's has brought back its cod sandwich. You can get two dollars off combos with their app if you use it. Greg D, not an unusual thing. They always try and accommodate all the people during the Lenten season, the fast food restaurants do. Cod sandwich sounds interesting. Though. That does sound interesting. Good morning, everybody. Maybe get that through the drive through today as we're going to see showers and some thunderstorms out there. Temperature is uh, climbing into the mid 70s, but it's all about the rain today. And actually, there's a chance of rain just about any time through the middle of the day. But notice that increase in rain chances for the late afternoon and evening. That's when our cold front moves by. That'll bring in a wave of showers and storms, and there could be a couple of hours of solid rain at your house. It'll also be breezy with those winds increasing during the afternoon. Track the showers in the ABC Action News app.